Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I thought I would do a little vlog for maybe this week. We'll see if it's not too long, but since I have a lot of errands to run, I kind of like to do vlogs if I'm like getting groceries or just have a lot to do. So that's what I'm doing today. Um, it's one of my TJ Maxx filming days, so I'm usually out for a bit and I like try to make stops to get groceries. So I'm going to Trader Joe's and going to Target as well to see if they have a couple of shirts that I saw. So that's what's going on nothing too exciting but i thought i would go ahead and film it so i'm gonna go ahead and head out okay so i'm at target i'm looking for a specific shirt i saw online like one of their graphic tees so it said they had it so i wanted to stop in i also saw the new elf collection so i'm gonna show you guys that okay so i'm not seeing it which is frustrating but they have so many cute things like especially their graphic tees love this is super cute i love these like thermal tops as well we have a lot of tie-dye stuff. There's the Scooby-Doo tee. Here's more. Seriously, their graphic tees are so cute. But yeah, I'm really disappointed. I don't see what I was looking for. So I might have to try another Target. This is a cute one. They have a cute little Sailor Moon tie-dye. A ton of Disney stuff here. Okay, so they ended up not having a shirt, but I am buying a couple other things here. I want to show you guys the e.l.f. collection. So this is the new Retro Paradise collection. I was going to order online, but now that it's here, I'm going to pick up a couple things. But they have such cute stuff. Like this set even has little scrunchies with it. This is the palette. I'm definitely picking that up. They have glitter shadows, glosses, there's eyeliners, highlighters down here and there's like a primer oil so i'm getting a few things from that i see they also have a new brand called undone which i'm not super familiar with but it looks really cute they have some lip to cheek palettes powders there's foundation a little bit of everything so that's new it looks good they have the new covergirl stuff including the blushes so i'm like oh do i want to pick up one maybe Looks like they just got stock in today. I picked up the concealer and powder in my last video. I'm loving this blush though. They also have the new quads from CoverGirl, these eyeshadow quads, which I believe are already shades that exist in some of their other palettes. But they have these little minis, which kind of remind me of the e.l.f. bite-sized ones. This is new too, Arches and Halos. Just like brow products, I have not heard of this brand before. They have a ton from Starlet Studio, which I haven't tried. I've seen some other stuff at TJ Maxx, though. So, yeah, if you guys are wanting the new drugstore collections, definitely check out Target, because I believe they just put this stuff out, like, this week, because otherwise I just saw stuff at Walgreens. So, yeah, I'm getting a few things in my basket here. I need to go get dish soap. So, <laughs> Target didn't end up having the shirt I wanted, but I ended up buying way more things than I should have. I feel like I never go to Target, so whenever I do, you know how people always say like they're only wanting one thing and then they spend a hundred dollars because that's literally me. <laughs> but I didn't know that e.l.f. collection was gonna be there <laughs> and so many cute drugstore things, so now I'm like, maybe I need to do another drugstore haul. I don't know, or I'll do a e.l.f. get ready with me video. We'll see, also it's super hot out today, so my face is like <laughs> red as crap. All right guys, next stop is Trader Joe's. Luckily, they don't have a line at this time, which is surprising, so let's go get some groceries. All right guys, I'm back home. I wanna share with you guys what I got from Trader Joe's, do a little grocery haul so I can put all my stuff away. <laughs> I feel like I've been out forever today, so yeah, I'm just gonna do these groceries and then I do need to pick up the kitchen a bit. It's kind of messy. I don't think I'm gonna upload today, so I might just do some picking up and cleaning. You guys loved when I did my last Trader Joe's haul, and I don't know, I just thought I would go ahead and put it in a vlog since I don't really know what stuff is new and whatnot, but I just got a bunch of random things, lots of fun snacks. So we got some popcorn and a pickle, which is a popcorn with the bite and tang of dill pickles. Leora told me to try these. I don't know if I'll taste test these right now. I don't wanna like open everything, but I'm excited to try those. I also grabbed these. I've been hearing so many good things about these. These are the patio potato chips, and these sound so good. I actually picked up two bags. I have not tried these, though, but it says it's a mixed bag of sea salt and vinegar, delicious dill, homestyle ketchup, and smoke and sweet barbecue flavored potato chips. So, like, literally everything good. I love ketchup flavored things, so I think I'm really going to like these. I ended up getting two 
two bags of these. These are very popular at Trader Joe's. I just bu I bought so many chips, you guys. This is ridiculous. I also got these quinoa and black bean infused tortilla chips. These looked pretty good. They actually didn't have very much left, so I figured they're pretty popular. And I'm going to be making some guacamole, so I just needed some good tortilla chips to eat with that. We also got this. I'm excited to try this. This is a new low-calorie pink lemonade. It is actually made with organic lemon juice, and I think it said it was made with stevia and, like... Yeah, non-calorie sweetener. So it's supposed to be really good. I absolutely love the cucumber watermelon juice I bought last time. So I've been loving trying these new ones. The sugars it has is natural sugars, 9 grams. And then it, it's only 40 calories for 8 ounces, which is really good for pink lemonade. So I'm really excited about that. I also got these sodas, which I've been obsessed with. So you guys know I loved the watermelon soda. These are amazing. Like, so, so good. If you guys need a replacement for drinking actual soda, these are great because they do have some sugars in it but it's all natural sugars so I got the watermelon again and I got a new kind they have strawberry so I hope they keep making more of these I'm excited to try the new strawberry one bag number two I got these buns these look really good and I'm gonna be making I'll show you guys in this uh, bag some burgers so these are just brioche buns they looked really good they say buttery moist and with perfectly french flavor so those looked amazing i picked these up these are newer for summer the coconut crispy rolls wafer cookies they are coconut wafer cookies and then they have like i think it's just the cookie i guess they don't have anything inside but i really liked the lemon ones i got last time so i think i'm going to like those then i got a bunch of things in here just some different fruits I ended up getting just a mixture. I got a few peaches. I've been craving peaches lately, so I got a couple of those. I got a red onion to make guacamole, as well as lime and garlic. So that's all that's in there. I got some romaine lettuce. I've been loving making Caesar salads for lunch, so I've been pretty much eating that like daily. I got some tartar sauce, which goes with, let me just show you guys this now. So I'm going to be making these shrimp burgers, maybe for dinners. These looked really good as just like an alternative. So like shrimp obviously has a lot less calories than beef. So I'm excited about that. So that's why I got the buns. And then I didn't know what topping to put on it. So I just grabbed some tartar sauce. I guess mayo might be good as well, but I'm not sure. Also got avocados to make guacamole. What else? What else? Oh, yes, I got chicken for chicken Caesar salads. So I just grabbed some chicken tender loins. I got some carrots. I love carrots with ranch. That's my go to snack. I've been trying to eat better. I, I really did not do good last week. I have to say that was bad. I was doing really well, and then I don't know what happened. Sometimes I feel like I can go on like a binge and just like binge eat all the junk foods, but I'm trying to do good. I did grab these again. I really liked them last time. The brownie crisp coffee ice cream sandwiches. So good. If you guys like like Java flavored ice cream. OMG. Those are so good. I also got this. I've heard really good things about the Trader Joe's mac and cheese. I think it was this one. The Joe's Diner brand. So I got this. It's four cheese. Cheddar Swiss. Havarti and Gouda. I don't know. I never knew like if frozen mac and cheese could be that great. But I'm going to try it out. And then I got some strawberries. This is also a good snack that I love. Another ice cream treat. These are the mini hold the cones. These are like little mini ice cream cones. I've heard a lot of people like these. So I decided to go ahead and try them. And I like the Trader Joe's ice cream because I just feel like they don't have as much calories. Plus the ingredients are... Um, really pure natural so I, I really do like that so these are kind of just a nice little sweet treat these are the chocolate ones I'm excited to try those I also got this pico de gallo salsa really enjoy this with the tortilla chips as well just as a salsa and then I think this is my last item I just got some roasted potatoes I don't know I just figured I would try it in this frozen bag I can make it in the air fryer and see if I like the taste of it I don't know, it's just something quick and easy. So that's everything I picked up from Trainer Joe's. Um, I didn't really see a whole lot of new, new things, but I, I am trying some new stuff to me. So it's kind of hard to keep up, like, what's new, what's not, because I'm not super familiar. But I'm excited about all these goodies, and that's pretty much it. Um, I did get some stuff at Target, but I'll probably show you guys those later to kind of spice things up so it's not just like haul after haul. I'm mostly done for the day. I think literally I'm just going to pick up a little bit. My makeup room needs to be cleaned. I could show you guys a bit of that and then 
honestly i've been playing my nintendo switch a lot i've been back into animal crossing again i took like a break but now i've been obsessed with it again they have a couple of new games coming out soon that i'm really interested in i think paper mario is coming for the switch which i'm excited about so i love doing that just in my free time i don't really have any shows i'm currently watching i pretty much watched everything and there's not really any good movies out so i've just kind of been playing my nintendo when i'm bored but yeah that's i don't know i never really vlog i know you guys always want to see more vlogs but i just never do because i really don't do much like this is it <laughs> i'm pretty much at home or at tj maxx I pretty much when I vlog, it's like when I'm running errands, getting groceries, stuff like that. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Hey guys, so I'm vlogging again today. I didn't vlog too much yesterday, but... Um, just like my haul and then I did some picking up in here so I did do a montage of that but honestly it's just been pretty chill I just got done filming my intro for this video I'm testing out the new ColourPop foundation so that's what I have on as well as the meant to be palette on my eyes finally tried that for the first time I have not tried it yet but I'm really excited to see how this is gonna wear I still need to make lunch <laughs> it's a little bit later in the day but I usually eat lunch pretty late I try to do somewhat of intermittent fasting not completely because I still drink like coffee in the mornings but still I usually just end up eating a little bit later so that's what I have going on I don't know if I want to put up I would like to put up this video today with the ColourPop foundation but we'll see um, how late that gets to be it might be later tonight so I don't know what I'm gonna do about that also I got my first trend mood box today which I'm so excited about I have not ordered one I don't know some of the other ones I just either had some of the products already or just wasn't super interested in everything but this box looked super good I'm especially excited for the Marc Jacobs mascara and the Nabla product products because I have not tried out anything from Nabla there's like one thing I already have which is the first aid beauty eye cream so I don't know I'll probably put it in a giveaway or reset sell it and then um the milani lip glosses is so funny because they're putting like almost all the shades except the kiwi watermelon which that's the one i actually bought off ulta so i got lucky with that so i guess i'll have all the ones in the collection now but i'll probably just put some of those in a giveaway too because i don't need all of them but i'm just really excited i was able to snag a box this morning because i think those are so cool that she does those boxes and it's like new releases so i cannot wait to get that hopefully it ships soon i'm also really excited because the boutique i work at and model for the pulse boutique just posted their swimwear collection out right now it's on the website there should hopefully be some stuff left by the time this video goes up but i'm so impressed with this line like i hate swimwear i hate showing my body it's my number one like insecurity and i just i've never i don't think i've ever posted any swimwear photo or anything like that on my social media but i did post one on my instagram today because i don't know i was just feeling it i'm loving their swimsuits they have amazing coverage most of the bottoms are high-waisted so i feel like i'm covered and i still feel really confident and cute in them so i'm just i know i work there but honestly they're they're just so amazing i'm really impressed if you guys you guys should definitely check them out i do think it's really important to spread body positivity so i did want to post that so that i can help other girls also feel confident some of my favorite like one of my favorite people on youtube is sierra schultz and i just love her message she gives off the greatest vibes and she makes me want to be confident in myself so i wanted to spread that as well and yeah i'm just thankful for you guys you guys always build me up and make me feel really good I feel like I'm lucky that I don't get, like, yeah, I get hate comments and people want to critique the way I do things, but I don't get really that many mean comments about my appearance. Like, yes, I get one here and there, but you guys honestly keep it really nice, which I really appreciate it because, I mean, yeah, we all are different. Everyone's body is different, and I just don't like if people make fun of how other people look. I don't know. I just, it really hurts. So, I just want to th thank you for that, but otherwise... Yeah, I wasn't sure what to talk about <laughs> in this vlog. I wanted to have some snippets here and there of just my thoughts on things. I know there's a lot of, like, drama, too, in the beauty community, which I've been really trying to stay out of. It's just, ugh, it was, I was watching some of the videos at first, but now I'm just over it because it's, like, all the same thing over and over. And I just don't want to be involved in this. And I know, like, a couple people have been asking me, like, my statements on things, but I just, I don't want to be drug into this. Like, this... I don't know it doesn't really have anything to do with me 
there's so many nice people in the beauty community you can watch that aren't drama filled and people are just feeding into it and that's what gets the views is negative stuff and I try to keep it positive here in my channel but like it's kind of frustrating when like you think about what people are going to click if they're going to click more if you're smiling or if you're making like a pissed off like what the heck kind of face then people are going to click which is frustrating but that's just I don't know how it is but you have to be the change like if you're sick of it then watch some positive videos watch positive people that's that anyways I just wanted to talk to you guys for a quick minute after I had my makeup done uh, I still wearing my hair half up this is one of my favorite hairstyles just super easy and I straightened my hair yesterday with my t3 iron like I said I had this in my review video and it's amazing I didn't even have to straighten it today I just kind of brushed it and that was that it seriously lasts forever in my hair but yeah I'm gonna let you guys go for a minute I'm probably actually actually I'm gonna make lunch I kind of want to try those shrimp burgers from Trader Joe's that sounds really good because we'll probably eat a bigger supper so I kind of just want to have that oh I have to give you guys an update I did try those chips oh my gosh seriously these are so good I've eaten so much already I had quite a few yesterday these are the patio potato chips I'm definitely gonna be getting more so that's what I've tried it so far here's what I'm having for my late lunch the shrimp burger with those buns I bought the brioche buns I just put on cheese I melted cheese on it and then tartar sauce because I have no idea like what condiment would be good and then I just have some strawberries I cut up I'm drinking the low calorie pink lemonade it's not my favorite but I would probably buy it again just as like a summer treat but it does have kind of a weird aftertaste to it I do like the um, the cucumber watermelon water better but let's try out this shrimp burger I cut this so I didn't ruin my foundation mmm wow Okay, that's incredible. Definitely going to be stocking up on those. We found some really good finds this week at Trader Joe's, I must say. And this, these buns are amazing as well. Honestly, it doesn't even need any condiments on it because it has so much flavor in there already. It is delicious. And with the cheese on top, so good. So that is definitely a Trader Joe's win. Definitely getting more hey of guys, those. good morning. It is now day three of vlogging. I'm really bad at vlogging if you guys cannot tell last night me and Tyler watched a couple movies we actually watched Dirty Dancing which I've never seen that before surprising I know I know it's such a classic movie and that was really good today is a TJ Maxx day so I'm gonna be out for a bit I'm gonna go ahead and put my sunscreen on I just got up and then I just literally brushed through my hair um cleanse my skin real quick my breakouts are starting to clear up a little i tested that color pop foundation yesterday i was going to do a full video but then it just didn't work out so i'm going to do it in a testing new drugstore makeup but overall i can give you guys kind of my thoughts it did get a little bit greasy and oily on me so i do want to try it a couple more times but it might be a little bit too hydrating if you guys have oily skin, especially for summer. So right now, I'm just putting on some SPF. I'm going to grab this Pure Lease one. This is the Blue Lotus Daily Moisturizer. And I'm going to be out. I really don't like to wear makeup since I have a mask on. It literally just does not stay on. And I just get hot, sweaty. So I just only wear SPF moisturizer. Sorry, this lighting is terrible because of the window back there. I'm just going to put on my sunscreen. By the way, I do have a code with Pure Lease if you guys ever want anything. I'll have it in the description box because I do have a pretty good discount with them, but I love their products. So now I'm going to go ahead and go through the coffee drive through and get a coffee and we'll head over to do some TJ Maxx. Alright guys, I am back home. Just pulled into the driveway. <laughs> TJ Maxx commercials are just not doing it this week. There was like hardly anything and I even stopped at like Ross, which I need to do a video on Ross. I've been filming there the past few weeks because they don't get stuff in as frequently but they've had a couple things like this the past month or so so I do need to upload that but huh, there was just like nothing I even went to Burlington coat factory sometimes they have makeup up there they were like empty so I don't know what's up this week a lot of you guys have said that your stores are really slow and not really getting new stuff which I totally get it I'm just always there so I guess I am bound to find something when I'm going to like five stores three times a week it's crazy 
anyways I didn't really do much but since I did stop at like Burlington and Ross there was an Old Navy so I actually stopped in there and I found a couple really cute dresses I always do like Old Navy they have good stuff just like really nice basic pieces and it's always a great deal like a lot of their stuff was already discounted and they always have coupons plus I got another coupon for like $30 off so I really do like to stop in there once in a while so that's why I did <laughs> I feel like all my vlogs is food and shopping basically so now I'm back home my friend actually asked me if I wanted to go to dinner so I think I'm gonna do that so I might put a little bit of makeup on just so I don't know I just I don't know if since I'm going out I want to look somewhat presentable I think the last thing I'll probably show you guys today is maybe what I bought at Target the other day and I can show you guys the dresses hopefully they work out I'll have to try those on and that'll pretty much be it so <laughs> just kind of a simple vlog here that I just I was like do I want to upload this or not I'm like uh yeah we'll just do it because I don't know it's kind of a nice break once in a while just to like talk to you guys and whatnot so I'm gonna go inside I'll see you guys later okay I'm in my closet now I did just get back from dinner we got Mexican and I got a fajita my favorite thing I really want to make my own fajitas but I, I can never find a good recipe that's not like too taco seasony tasting if that makes sense but I love fajitas with like chicken steak and shrimp so good anyways i'm obsessed with this dress i got from old navy here's how it looks it is this green floral print and i just love these for the summer so i decided to get a couple just because these are nice to throw on they're very lightweight and they're super cute so this is a close-up of the pattern love this and i think it's so flattering i am in the extra large i think i could have gone to a large though because I was covering up this bra strap, but the straps kind of sit wide like I feel like it keeps like going like this Which is really annoying, but I don't know if it's because I Like move the straps up since they're adjustable or what but overall I'm really happy with this They had that same dress in this leopard print too. So I got that literally same style Sorry the floor up here is so squeaky I also got this little striped tank top, which I thought was nice, um, just like a neutral tank. And I also got their like $2 flip-flops because these are just so easy to throw on like when I'm just going outside real quick. So that is what I got from Old Navy. By the way, I do have on that ColourPop foundation again. I feel like it's okay. I think it's better suited for dry skin though. But it's not bad. Um, I did want to say I'm really excited because I just got a notification. I do have, um, like, notifications for FedEx and UPS packages because I do get a decent amount of packages here. And I saw an exciting one that's coming with a certain brand and a certain YouTuber collab. And I have no idea how I'm getting this PR. I don't know. But, oh my gosh, I can't say anything because they haven't announced it yet, but... I am beyond excited it's coming next week and I cannot wait to see what it is and share it with you so that's always I don't know I just love to check what is coming in the mail and trying to guess some of the companies I like try to look up who it's from some of them have weird names I don't know it's just really fun so anyways let me show you guys what I got at Target all right hopefully this lighting's not terrible but the sun is setting but anyways I want to show you guys what I got at Target just some random things first toothpaste because we are out so I grabbed the Crest 3D white this one's the stain eraser so I'm a huge coffee drinker, tea drinker, all the bad things for the teeth. <laughs> and so this one says it cleans away stubborn stains including coffee, soda, tea, and wine. I usually use the Crest 3D White anyway, so we'll try that out. And then you guys know I picked up some of the new e.l.f. collection. I'm going to be trying these out in a video, which I think will be up this week. I want to try out a bunch of my drugstore makeups. This is the e.l.f. Retro Paradise collection. This is the Dream On Lip Gloss. This whole collection is very like 70s vibes to me, which I love. I feel like if I lived in any era, I would live in the 70s. It's my favorite. Okay, so this is just a nude pink gloss. So pretty. See, so yeah, I'm gonna probably try that out in my next video. Oh, I got this CoverGirl blush as well. I could not resist trying this. I have. Um, I just saw it in Target. This is the True Blend So Flushed High Pigment Blush in the shade Love Me. Looks good. So they have some new blushes. We also have this e.l.f. Multidimensional Face and Body Shimmer. There's two shades. I chose the shade Soul. It almost feels like a cream, but yeah. It's glittery, but it's not like super beaming, if that makes sense. 
but it is really creamy so that is on the bottom there I also got the eye palette of course look at this uh, so beautiful I've been wanting this I love that the packaging is like orange it has some pops of teal in there which I'm dying to try but yeah very 70s kind of island ish is what it reminds me of okay I finally got that sticker off here is the inside oh I'm so excited to play with this it looks so beautiful elf has been coming out with some gorgeous collections lately I cannot wait to try all right I also picked up these that I saw at the checkout but they have kinder bueno bars which I'm so excited I absolutely love kinder and for a while like it was really hard to get here in the states and it's one of my favorite chocolates but like eventually we got the eggs again and now I see the bueno so now I can get them at Target and I don't have to go to world market which was where I was getting it before but these are so good if you guys haven't tried kinder Mm, it's amazing and these kind of have like a hazelnut inside kind of similar to a Ferrero Rocher but without like the nut inside but these are good so I grabbed those I also got two pairs of earrings which is really weird for me because I don't really wear jewelry but I kind of want to try it you know for videos and stuff just to, I don't know be a little bit more put together so I love this sugar fix line by bobble bar that they have they're kind of pricey though but how cute are these? They're like little geode earrings with different shapes. So I do like studded earrings. Those are $14.99. A little pricey. And then these were like super popular. There's only one left. So I decided to grab them. I think these might be the ones that are a dupe for a popular pair of Madewell earrings. I saw someone on Instagram show these. So I'm like, okay, we can try it. We could try to do the hoops. I don't know. I've, I've never really worn hoops before. But these were a little cheaper at $7.99. And they're just a really pretty gold hoop so we'll, we'll see and then see i told you there's so many random things the very last thing are these little candies that they had i've seen people showing these but they're supposed to be a better for you like gummy basically so they're in the candy aisle these are the smart sweets so they have the sweet fish which are supposed to be like swedish fish these have three grams of sugar per bag they do have 80 calories they do have a high carb amount at 35 grams but they are low sugar and then we have the Smart Sweets Gummy Bears. I have to try these. Those, again, 90 calories, 33 grams carbs. This is the Smart Sweets Sweet Chews, which look like little Starbursts. So I'm really excited. These are made without sugar alcohols, and they're made with plant-based goodness, a good source of fiber, naturally flavored, free from artificial colors and sweeteners. So I'm going to try this. And on the back, it has a little stamp that says woman-owned, which is cool. So that's my little Target haul. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and end this vlog here because I'm not really doing too much. And then I can try and upload this tonight, actually. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> Let me know if you like these kind of videos where I just kind of like shop around show you what i'm eating grocery hauls and stuff like that and i'll talk to you guys later bye guys